think it's still th I still think it's weird how the guns were downgraded from Ezio's trilogy to three and Black Flag. Okay, fifty three percent. Right, I was on this weird island. And I cleared everything except the assassin contracts. I could go here, do the Royal Navy, do, uh, do the naval convoy, do the rack, and the contract. What's the next mission? Right. I cleared everything over here. And I want to go to my base. Okay. So, Animus, Naval, New, uh, Direct, New Place, Assassination Contact, Base, Main Mission. That's the plan. <coughs> Unfold mains, let's move! Crowd on all the sail we have! Brig, metal, wood, brig, gunboat. What the hell are you doing? Clue the fall! All sail! All sail! Loose all! Hearty like! and British having a shootout. Oh, 
blessing themselves. On full men, Grim Tulas! You're evil! Kill officers. That was the captain, I think. Anyone else? That's a frigate, right? Let's lower the wanted level. Yeah. And the rest have sunk. Mains out, let's go! Loose mainsails, man your sheets! Do I need unpack for anything? Let's have a song then. Ghost the gallants and royals. Stuntsills in. Clue up. Very down on land, sir. Hold down! Hold down! Ahoy it all! Bring it all in! <sighs> and ten remaining. Then cadaver. Grab a hold. Captain Get the mains free. Yeah, it was hidden. Anything else was hidden? I'm back. Still need to get those. And complete the contract. When I complete the contracts, we'll get those. Do I need a humpback for anything? I need great white, I need white whale, I need red howler. Set to freeing the block and tackle after that. <laughs> Yeah, where is the map? Storm Captain, looks bad! Pull down and clue up! Bring them up tight! Come and hearty like! Captain 
No? And where the hell is it? Yeah, air pocket. And stuff. How do I get there? There has to be some kind of entrance. Okay, I don't get it. Captain has the helm. Loose main sails. So how do you get there? Tops, gallant. I mean, there's no way around it. Close down, man your sheets. Is it inside the wreck? Probably in the rack. Find smugglers' chests. It's a sunken smugglers den. Uh huh. That's kind of weird. Get moving! Move! Ah, the red doll. That's all. Sharks. I see. Everything shaking.
Where I am this thing. But where are the rest of the chests? Why couldn't I see that before? fists for this. What are you doing? Why are you being weird? Well, is that over there? Over there? Market. Let's do this head on. Not even no tools either. Huh, ah, I have my throwing knife.
Why are you dropping the weapon? Well, is a fragment. Ah! How do I get there? all the chopping and that makes no sense what this is the hole in the middle this is also left cell when I go here Yeah, it is. like it. Dolphins! <laughs> I'm back, bring up the bell. Where's my stuff? Edward, how was your day? Storm captain looks bad. So of course I'm heading straight forward. I need what is that? Let's split the dead oil 
Man of War. She blows the white wheel. Let's hunt, lads. My usually annoying thought is more annoying than usual. So excuse me. Let's get started. Hmm. The white whale. We have him on the line. How tight? He don't like that. <laughs> there. It's a hit. That tail's coming! He don't like that! <laughs> the beast is captain! Stay sharp, lads! Yeah, this one's gonna take a lot of harpoons. Ha! It's a hit! Oh, you see that, lads? Snap that tail! Nice one! Nice Come one! Well done, sir! Here it comes. Okay! He's a slippery bastard! We're off! We have him on the line! He's pulling, Captain! A grand shot, Captain! Ha! Time to win this Captain Ford! That one's a biggie. Hoist him up! Well done, Captain. Okay. Now I want to hit that. Crowded all on. Unfurl aloft. Man your sheets. Spanish man the wall. Have mortals, you know. Fire! Fire! Captain Lancer, I'm there. She's coral. Fire! Shall we board it, Captain? Cool. Did it all with mortals? Holy! 
in the stun cells. Mail off and bring in those royals now. Bring her in. You are finished, drag them to that doom. Officers and battle reserves. Let's try to hit battle reserves first. Up, just a bit up. <laughs> Never mind. Keep my death clear. You hear the news? Any who set foot here, die. <laughs> I need this ship in my fleet. A fine addition. Close down. Catch some wind. Um. Oh, there it is. Schooner. The next one. Awaiting your mark, She's yeah. to fire. Fire. You will founder the ship, can we? What? Reef the topsails and gallants. He's the main muscle. Fire. 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 We're ready, sir. Crowd on every inch of sail. Seats trim too. Hearty. I said hearty. I said. I said Party. That's a frigate. Ease off the wind. Stands out. Let's get moving. Roll the doors out. Gun to planks. Fire! 
Yellow skins. What the hell exploded over there? Boarding them. Now the scouts. Hang on, I need to reload. I know. Loose all and trim shot to the wind. Sponsors, let's ride this squall. Douse the royals and cops. Ease the spanker. Hold down. Cops, gallants, royals, start. Check those royals. Reefing all tops! Trim us off the wing! Muzzle that duck, my trunks! Okay, small island. No problem. This is more like it. A kilo's wheel. Hmm. I bet you have ammo. Nice. Okay. I need a viewpoint. I'm guessing the viewpoint is just a boulder. Douse all but me! Reef the main! Short no sail! Hold down and clue up! Pull those mains! Cannons in the water! I'm not playing around. Socio, creo que puedo darle. Ah, 
Ow. Yeah, no bonus, but okay. Okay, but let's get the viewpoint, shall we? Ocelot, Ocelot! Wait. a lot <clears throat> what does an ocelot look like jump Is there another one? Or is it only the one ocelot? from here? So, yeah, it is from here. And the last secret. Come here. Is it number two? It's starting. Uh, 
العقد المايسترو نسيت The largest predatory fish in the world, the great white lethal, the great white's lethal aspect is due to its nearly 300 serrated teeth arranged in rows. Great whites have been known to attack humans, but usually more out of curiosity than hunger. Sample biting, and releasing their victims, the great white reaches an average length of 4.6 meters. Go with more bull sharks to deadlier. Also called a medusa, the jellyfish isn't technically a fish, it's a free-swimming non-vertebrate found in every sea across the world. Jellyfish consists of a gelatinous bell with trailing tentacles capable of stinging prey. Jellyfish stings are in most cases harmless to humans, but some can be extremely serious, even lethal. From in most cases harmless to can be lethal. That's comforting. Yeah, most common jellyfish are rather harmless. But the box jellyfish is the most lethal animal on the planet. What are you doing there? Alto. Hey, tú, detente. Acabaré contigo enseguida. Allá va una granada. Granada! <coughs> oh, I thought you were dead. Wait, isn't there a boat nearby? It'll probably be easier. Maybe I'll find more ocelots. Damn it. No nos rendimos fácilmente. That's a little mumbo, shining mumbo. Okay. Next. Order of business is home base. That's an orca, that's a humpback. No, that's a great white. That's a humpback. I could use a bit more great white later. Let's fix up some home base stuff, handle the fleet, and then do main mission. Main mission. Upgrade an ammo. Upgrade an ammo. Upgrade an ammo. Most of all, I should have some cargo for sale. Yeah. Sell the hammer, the hollow monkey. Sell the hammerhead. Keep the jaguar, keep the white jaguar, keep the... Sell the ocelot. Wait. Great white, white whale, red howler. Great white, white whale, red howler. Black jaguar, crocodile leather. Okay. One bit of business left. What do you be needing today, this? 
So I don't need Ocelot. I thought I did. And that's it. I need to have more calculators. Anyway, ammo, heavy shot, motor shot. No upgrades. Needs metal and wood. Needs metal. Needs metal. Needs metal. And the plan. Also need metal and wood. And the plants. No, I'm not wasting wood or metal on that. My thanks for your trust, Captain. You, you can have your campfire. <coughs> Been thinking, Captain. Why not build ourselves a grand old bonfire by the beach? The lads would be a better cheer if they had such a spot to let loose. You savvy? Like they do now? I hope you have fun. And there's nothing else here, just upgrade the mansion. Still missing a little something. Towers and guards. What's the next now one? What could I add to make it perfect? A guest house. <laughs> Not now. Okay. I wanted to do some fleet management, but I can do that on the ship. Wild pig, no. Oh, Baco Island. Let's do some fleet mini game. This is a man of war. Add it. This is a man of war. Add it. This is a brig. Salvage it. Man of war. Add it. Brig. Salvage. Man of war. Add. Forget, forget. Forty cargo space is still very useful. And to add a new dock, I need 3,000. Make it quick.
Oh, you have fire barrels. I want some. But I'm not gonna get any. One schooner. Really? That's all there is? Forget Brig. Give me a forget. Give me a forget. Give me a manual. And the wells are too slow. Two schooners. Yay, fireball! Okay, what are the missions here? Better. Send a manual. Cape Verde. I get schooner. I get. I get. I get. Good choice. Gunboats. Sixteen hundred. She'll send this one.
North Africa. Two schooners. The final bells. Let give me the final bells. Come on, I saw you have final bells. Two gunboats. Bring, forget, bring. I'm gonna turn the AC on. And that's how it's supposed to be done. Leg schooner, give me all the faggots. I'm out of faggots. Should have put a figure in the first spot. Against smaller battles, put figures in the first spot. Okay. Let's do all of this. I 
11 hours, 12 hours, 15 hours. Fourteen hundred. I got fourteen hundred here. I'm gonna send the man of war with ten tons of cargo. <clears throat> okay. Now. Back to the actual game. I do not speak Spanish, I'm sorry. As the title says, this is an English Hebrew channel. Captain's trick. Schooner with rum and sugar. Schooner with wood. And catch the wind. Set your souls for colliding! Yeah! Try and get me. Are not available in open conflicts? Is this wrecked thing? No, I saw Stay it. Back. I couldn't get get Stay around. Back, I couldn't get into it. The mission is here. Haul in the stunsel. Four. Haul up all but mains. Loose all. Let's move. We ride the wind for all she's worth. The revenge. Dark skies and rough seas there. Skuno, Skuno, Skuno. Are they heading for me? I think they are heading for me. Hang on. Before we go siege Charles down. We are going to hit them! Down they go! Okay, now we can do the siege of Charles down. Hey oh bonnet! Flying your own flag at last! Yes! Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward, your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. You call this a good morrow? Yes, I know how to use a fight less. By your wives and families and countrymen, 
How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms! Yeah. Six days of pure fucking silence. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you? Or to press you into my service? It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise since. And you waited a week? I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah. But they're stalling, thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Oh, they have to go around. Fine. Redo. Skip it. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Yep, pretty. Sure. Iron in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. It's gonna look like the bayou. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet someone out there has prepared the medicines, just in case. Ah, but they're stalling, thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. He's the trail. We have to go through business here in some shallow waters. Yeah. It'll be a bloody miracle if we ain't spotted. There's another watchtower. I'm watching it. More sail, all we've got. What's the captain thinking? This fog ships with nowhere to turn. Keep her at half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Yeah, but I need to keep up. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop!
This is stealth mode. Close the bell over there. I think that guy in chat said crack twice. I don't do drugs. Set up. Let's get moving. Trim to catch the wind. I see them over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. This ship's built for the open ocean, not stalking bayous. Look on the floor. We're on the ground here. We may never get out. Hold down. Leave the mains. Let's get moving. Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Loose the stunsels. Steady as she goes, Captain. I need a bit more speed. I'm getting away. Ease the trail. Reef tops. Oh boy. Furl all sails. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. You sleep down some crocodiles. Turn on a four hand of cards without a call, laugh. So I did. Come on then, Captain's waiting. The mosquitoes will suck every last ounce of vitality from us. You think it's true what they say about Blackbeard? The fire strikes out from his head, as if from some volcano. If he's not <laughs> the devil himself, then surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the heart of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Hang on. Cover down. Come on. Climb. the hell okay so what do I have I have one okay Every last ounce of vitality from us. You 
You think it's true what they say about Blackbeard? The fire strikes out from his head, as if from some volcano. If he's not the devil himself, then surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Come on. Come on. You see any crocodiles tonight? I could have sworn I saw something. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. The fire strikes out from his head, as if from some volcano. If he's not the devil himself, then surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Crocs, Crocs. Don't bug me. Who's that there? Two old gators come for their supper. Boy, the old mucker. Warm tonight, isn't it? We talk about our weather another time, mate. Okay, best end soon. I'm going land crazy, and this dirty puddle won't do. One would suppose all this was for gold, or rum at least. Nothing but medicines to cure whatever ailments fester aboard their vessels. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious coffins these pirate ships must be. What was that? It was a crocodile, wasn't it? It's coming straight for us, I can feel it. You see any crocodiles tonight? I could have sworn I saw something past the boat. No. Nope. Quiet night. Are you sure? I heard something in the water. Quiet till you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. <laughs> Almost there. Good. Captain Wyatt is not a patient man. Not Hello! Is that Raider yonder? The very same, then. Speed along. You're expected. And you know how... Oh, Christ! It took him! It took him! I told you! Just row! For God's sake, row! I told you there was something, didn't I tell you? Oh, God. Let's just get out of here!
Thank Christ. I thought we'd never make it. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Angelo! What was the conversation? I apologize, sir. There was an accident. Private Simon! This this crocodile. I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town. And I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Okay, I guess we're going... Full blown. Actually, I kind of hate these chase scenes. Especially when they have hidden missions. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Care about the clock. Somebody shoot him. What the hell? Hey, stop him. Oh, God. Oh, God, save me and flay all you devils. Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. <clears throat> Few people could have died. You should have bartered, mate. Few people could have died. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Ah, uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? <laughs> <laughs> we should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. What you gonna Good do, Thatch? Aren't you? 
giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this Earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth a quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. Now, we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. <sighs> Mixing up the medicines. Do you have a minute? I'm on my way upstairs. I may wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Okay. Do I have anything interesting in my files? No. This is a computer. Yeah, they're all busy. This one's not busy. Because an initial, because the initial position I received, it's a little light on the facts, but these guys know what they're doing. We'll know more when they arrive on Monday. Let me know if you feel like attending, John. Oh. Can I, I hack? Can I hack the computer while they're using it? I'm thinking no. Anyone's available are the open ones. I think I fell a mechanism. It's a recreation of the anti fell mechanism? Interesting. This is my desk. Security room. Still can't access it. No other computers available. levels of security clearance from 17 different countries, Abstergo actually has a legal right to arrest and detain people too. It's crazy. What? That's ridiculous. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. Sure. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. <laughs> and we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. <laughs> then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. 
Actually, that sounds awful. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. Hi, Melanie. I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Should me long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like <laughs> to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. You're gonna give me level 2 access now? Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level 2 security clearance. Not, not level three. For your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. You're not gonna give me level three, huh? What? Oh crap! Why the hell is this thing open? Authorized personnel only. I'll update your communicator. Ooh. These are all the cameras in the office. Ah, oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Two, five, seven. Click on the numbers to change the values. The goal of this hack is to find prime numbers which, when multiplied together, will result in number. Ah, okay. So tell me it's to find prime factors, that's it. Just say it's to find prime factors. 70. 70 requires 2, 5, and 7. It works. And if we want information on assassins or Templars or the observatory or whatever the fuck else interests us, Olivier, you will deliver it. Uh -huh. I understand that, Leticia. I'm sorry if I came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Leticia. Rest assured, we have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. <laughs> to both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Kidding me. You can't waltz into Olivier's office. 
helicopter through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yes. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was faked, right? So, anything's possible. You shut up. All right. Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Ah, damn it. To Melanie LeMay, Kevin Devon, Chloe Lesney, Christopher Darby, Evan Dean, from Olivia and Garneau. Date November 16th, November 6th, 2013, 2013, 9.46. Salute. As most of you know, I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting from the 15th to the 17th, and they'll want to see our progress with the Kenway line. The small amount of data we have already gathered is incredible, and we anticipate even more amazing finds in the near future. The events and people we have seen so far make us confident that the complete experience will be one of the most eye-opening explorations for pi of piracy ever seen. It will take quite a bit of work to scrub the data of objectionable and classified material, but we already have some incredibly promising footage. At the same time, Abstergo Entertainment will soon be announcing a closed beta for a new consumer cloud interface app, sexy name forthcoming. And what Kenway's virtual pilot experience will be the first complete product on offer and the first of its kind anywhere, an immersive interactive pilot experience drawn from actual historical data. Internal tests of our consumer cloud app has been encouraging and we anticipate it will be ready in time for the next holiday season if everything goes according to plan. So this leads us to a broader question. What other experiences would we like to offer? What other historical periods and locations can we explore? Judging by our current rate of data retrieval, our capacity to produce, and our understanding of consumption trends, the executives of Abstergo Industries have given me the goal of producing one complete virtual experience per annum, in addition to small offerings as our research allows. This includes books, recordings, films, and any other transmedia offering. A second related question is this, does Sample 17 contain enough compelling data to sustain our current commitment to it? Or should we make a request to Abstergo Industries for additional archive data? Remember that data from Sample 1 proved fruitful enough to create our liberation product? It is very likely that research into Samples 2 through 16 will bear surprising fruits as well. Thoughts? From Melanie LeMay, 1001. Hello all. Thanks for opening the discussion, Olivier. Just a brief heads up with where we stand now. I've been the Sample 17 project director for just over a year now, and my team and I have been able to cobble together a rough list of the most interesting time periods available to us through this single genetic sample. Remember, this is data that has already been fully or partially sequenced by Abstergo Industries. I'll try to be brief. Heterilineal line, 15th century Italian Renaissance, 16th century Ottoman Empire, 18th century American colonies, War of Independence, 19th century New England and American Midwest. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Matrilineal line, 12th century Holy Land Crusades, 13th century Egypt and Northern Africa, 14th century Ashikaga Shogunate in Japan, 18th century French Revolution, 19th century Napoleonic Wars, Taiwan, 20th century Summer of Love, American Pacific Coast. Obviously, this is just a small sample of the potential options. The number of ancestors any one person has is well above 30,000 after just 15 generations, so there could be many more surprises waiting for us within Sample 17. However, despite Sample 17's rich heritage, we should not limit ourselves to this alone if we have concrete leads elsewhere. 
For instance, quite a few men from all sides of my family fought in both world wars, and I even have a great-great-grandfather who fought in the American Civil War. Managed to meet President Lincoln a few times too. Going this out is still a little more costly and time-consuming, since data has not already been sequenced, but it could be rewarding in the long run. In short, if anyone has any confirmed connections to interesting historical events, periods, or cities, or knows of people who do, please share. I will also be reviewing the past three decades of samples collected and sequenced by Abstergo Industries. I recently learned that one of their samples, number two, I believe, participated in the trial of Jean d'Arc, so does nicely there. <coughs> I'm going to leave you again now, 10.41. All good points, Mel. A word of caution, though. Sample 2 comes from the late Dr. Warren Vidic himself, collected at some point in the early 80s when he was a young engineer working at Abstergo Industries. So, as tempting as Jean d'Arc's experience sounds, I'm not sure Abstergo Industries would be too keen on letting us rummage around in Dr. Vidic's DNA. It's just a sensitive topic. For my own part, I'm related to Francois Xavier, Xavier Grenier, Noted the Quebecois historian and poet. Exciting, right? Possible lead? Yeah. One additional caveat, let's avoid digging into any modern periods, i.e. 20th century, unless we find something incredibly compelling, because as fun as a World War II setting might sound, we do well to avoid any settings with vehicles, cars, motorcycles, helicopters, tanks, etc. Why, you may ask, because the research has shown that memory imprinting in individuals is actually hampered by the semi-catatonic state most people enter when driving for medium and long periods of time. This makes data retrieval somewhat more difficult. In short, we don't want to go through the efforts of coding extra anonymous features just for the sake of digging up memories of people driving around in cars. There are other and more efficient ways to experience that. From Chloe Lesney, 1124. Olivia, haha, <laughs> Quebec City is beautiful, but without pirates, ninjas, or zombies, I'm not sure how well a story about a historian would sell. Also keep in mind, samples 4 and 16 might be off limits too. While doing my own research last month, I caught wind of some exciting characters buried in these gene samples, but as soon as I started digging, I was told by people far, far above me to stop. Very odd, but not surprising, I suppose. AE has had a lot of active military contacts, and I assumed these had something to do with that. I didn't push back. As far as my own, if anyone is interested, my great-grandfather was friends with Hemingway and Stein and Satie and Picasso when he lived in Paris in the 1920s. <coughs> no action-packed adventures there, but historically interesting. Just throwing it out there. Chris, is our lunch meeting on-site or off? Olivia, no, 11.38. Yes, as much as I love the lost generation, I think our first few virtual experiences will need to be a little more action-oriented. So wars and major combat operations are always a good starting point, or any periods of intense conflict, really. As for pirate ninjas and zombies, we could easily accommodate the first two, but zombies are a bit, how do you say, <coughs> ahistorical? Too bad, really. Christopher Darby, 11.454. My great-grandmother, for instance, worked alongside Eamon de Valera and Michael Collins and for many years during the Irish War for independence. So it wouldn't be difficult to sequence that small segment of my own genetic memories for our purposes. Olivia, actually, there is a factual basis for zombies, or zombification anyway. Read Hurston's book on Haiti, on Haiti and the strange voodoo practice there. It may not be Hollywood-style zombie magic, but it's creepy nonetheless. In Liberation, Evelyn came in contact with voodoo hongans. If we dug further into that, I wonder what we could find. Her mentor Agathe was into some weird stuff. Off-site. There's a new vegetarian place I want to try. I'll bring the spec sheets. They're already printed. Come on there on. 346. Sorry for, to be a dissenter, but couldn't we begin? Couldn't we be using this technology to educate, not placate? I mean, theoretically, we have all of our human history to explore, all of our achievements and brightest moments, so it's a little disheartening to hear we need to focus on wars and conflicts and violence. It's not that I'm against violence, per se, it's just that violence isn't terribly interesting in bulk. That's all. There's so much more nuance to life, and I think we could explore that. So what if we found the memories of someone who worked with Albert Einstein in his patent office, or Charles Darwin on the Beagle, or Marie Curie in France? Moments where humans show their very best potential. Evan Dean. Okay, come on. Until oily, humorless university professors start paying us eight-figure fees to research the reification of normative gender signifiers in pre-colonial India, why don't we stick to that shit to cells? I'm, talk I'm talking Jack the Ripper in Victorian London. I'm talking about guillotines. 
Robespierre and Napoleon Bonaparte in the French Revolution. I'm talking about Billy the Kid and Wired Up in the Wild American West. I'm talking about Genghis Khan and the Mongols killing a city of millions in the span of a long summer weekend. Action, blood, adventure, conflict. Because we're not going to earn back one-tenth of the money we have poured into this reliving the memories of the guy who sat next to Einstein as he bit his nails while working out the finer details of general relativity in his head. For fuck's sake, man. Sorry. And this is a business, not a group therapy session. Let's take this offline. You sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. What the hell did you do? As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> you can't do that. Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Like the I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, Sean, on. back on. Codes, for God's sakes, it's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there, I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, you said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. <clears throat> yeah. Well done. Nothing to hack here, right? Friend, very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. Uh -huh. we'll be in touch. But now I have level 2 security clearance. So let's see what we have. Four computers over there. Yeah, in the level 2 room. Can you skip all this? How many ancestors do you have? How many of those secrets are locked away in your genes? And how many of those stories are you willing to share with the rest of us? Welcome to the fascinating world of genetic memory retrieval. We here at Abstergo Entertainment are now poised at the precipice of this exciting new frontier of technology and science that will change the way we view the past and live the future. In the coming year, we will be opening studios all across the world dedicated to a single purpose, collecting and archiving the stories locked away in human DNA. And we need your help. We're looking for courageous men and women donated to donate uh, genetic materials to our historical research teams and help us make rehistory. Donate today. Join us with Stargo Entertainment, where the past is our playground. By the way, anything to scan? 
That's a keypad. Subject 17, Phase 1 report. This surveillance video, possibly captured by Rodito, another group is labeled New York, USA, 2012 The accompanying chat transcript was labeled Kidnapped, Data Transcript Level 3. Can someone ask Chase to make sure this, his men use more professional language going forward? Cell Tower Grid, UTC, 0402, 24 hours. How's going transmission call ID private interference? Yes sir, pause. We have him, replies Scrambled. Yes, shoving him in the van as we speak, so targets will be delivered on schedule. Transmission ends. Reference video labeled Brooklyn USA 2012-0907. Postal claimed Abstergo agents have captured an unknown Caucasian male victim is in his mid-twenties, approximately six feet tall, 190 pounds, destination unknown. This one is labeled Campino, Italy, 2012-0901-1844. Foster identified as this only as unmarked hangar, but then went on to say of Stego agents arriving at destination. Company owned jet brought to hangar after landing. A victim identified as Desmond Miles. I don't think this has spread too far yet. The location has already been scrubbed, so I think we can dismiss this as ravings of a fanatic. Preliminary analysis, leaked medical file, we're looking into it. No menstrual disorders for subject 17, though. That must have been a relief for the public to read. Patient has no active complaints, no acute dis distress, no prior cardiac history. Blood pressure normal, 112 over 78. Primary blood analysis, no significant traces of chemicals that would lead to neurological disorders. No indication that patient would be prone to neurosis. Unlike previous subjects, the patient is psychologically stable. You are clear to proceed. Missing person with poster. Friends of subject 17 distributed these all over New York. Hmm. Wearing white hoodie, dark jeans. Did I miss post it or something? The machines we made shaped us in turn and took hold of our impulses and our minds, small as they are, and gripped us like an iron maiden bleeding us empty. It was our poor understanding of our origins that led us to originate tools we were incapable of understanding or controlling, as if the cotton gin gen was not enough and one day our sweaters and undershirts might talk to us, as if this were not enough. Hello. One of history's most overlooked leaders, Madeleine de Lizelle, freed hundreds of slaves and brought them to sanctuary in a tropical haven whose construction she oversaw personally. Brutally cut down at the peak of her career by Evelyn de Grand Prix, the orphan she rescued from a broken home. Madeleine served as Master Templar in the Southern Colonies from 1764 to 1777. Yeah, she was kind of a slave driver, Templar, asshole. Evelyn did us all a favor.
Ja, så bara. Researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global Ibn Lahad. Fortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. Atarim, no, this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property. In favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. <sighs> agreeable. Go you. Okay. Any other post-its I might have missed? Okay. I'm getting out. Course, we'll likely the next. Excuse me. I wish I could say this was illegal, but they I see that posted. I think this one is the wheels one. On. I don't think I've ever used this phone more than a few times to record anything. <clears throat> uh, hey, Dad. So, uh, we're all here in New York at the motel. It's uh, Queens, actually, in Astoria, near the NQ. Uh, Rebecca's off getting batteries for something. Sean's in his room doing whatever Sean does. And, uh, you're out getting some food. Me? Well, I'm supposed to be getting ready to break into some offices in the financial district. 
feels just like prepping for one of your old training drills, actually. Ten years go by, and then you show up, and it's like... Uh, like I, I was never gone, and we're right back to the ball-busting and the conspiracies and the paranoia. Only this time, I believe you. I believe every word. You know, I don't even think you know the half of it. I, I don't think you know how much I've seen. How much I've, I've learned in just a few weeks. Everything, really. I feel like, uh, like I've, I've lived a thousand years, or, or, or ten thousand, maybe. It's impossible to explain. But when you see that much of the world through the eyes of so many, you can't help but be sad. And to see all these incredible, intelligent people fight the same battles, make the same mistakes over and over again. Because culture and knowledge and history, these things, they aren't passed on through our genes. Every kid on Earth needs to relearn the basics. How to live, how to survive, how to stand up for, for what's right. So much is lost in the transfer. So much is added every generation. It's a shame. Over and over, everything must be learned again. I met Clay, Dad. Clay Gesmeric, in the Animus. I knew him by his Abstergo handle, Subject 16. My, uh, my predecessor. And he showed me things. He passed them to me, just before he died. Deleted or whatever. Everything he'd learned, everything he'd seen. Uh, God, how do I talk about this? So, um, I guess you, you trained him. Huh? After I left, he really looked up to you, and now that I've seen through his eyes, I, I think I understand why. I'm glad you had him around, even if I wasn't there. The things he showed me. Unbelievable things. And I never... Shit. All right, I'll be back in a second. Being that it is well understood that tools, homes, cars, cutlery, pencils, tables, books, chairs, domesticated animals, light bulbs, mobile phones, sex toys, vacation homes, sofas, lounge, lounge chairs, swimming pools, etc., etc., are indirect byproducts of our geno genotypic expressions, otherwise known as extended phenotypes, we submit. Just a one, right? ghost lights. It is the opinion of this researcher that inadequate attention has been paid to Southeast Asia and in particular the Himalayas. Her research into first civilization people and subtle fingerprints they have left throughout, throughout the world would benefit greatly from further investigation into this region. For example, we may find a prime example in the form of the Alea ghost lights, often reported by fishermen. The lights appear over marshes and possess the power to distract, waylay, and even compel victims to drowning, but have also proven useful as navigational aids. Gas seems like too facile an explanation. Has genetic memory research shielded evidence of anything similar yet? Ghosts or gas or something else? In the Himalayas, these are said to be the souls of deceased fishermen. The deceased fishermen. We really don't take fishermen seriously enough, do we? How many times has a simple fisherman village yielded significant information, if not treasure? 
the Bermuda Triangle. I'm guessing this is the the, the plane crash. So, uh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Never mind. Flight 36. What must surely be the most intently studied regions whose very existence is routinely denied by official sources, the Devil's Triangle has been held responsible for countless vanished specials, aircraft and ship alike, since the earliest days of sail. The region's techno-omnivorous tendencies have been attributed to many magnetic pull of the lost continent of Atlantis, to UFOs and even to unnamed mysterious forces. While the area still holds much interest and we firmly believe in the power of science over superstition, we have been unlucky in researching this area, and can claim only to have contributed two small aircraft, a ship, and several hundred thousand dollars of research equipment to the hungry maw of its continued mystery. For the time being, it may be safer to pursue greater knowledge of the region through genetic memory research via the NMS program. I don't know the explanation for the ghost lights, but the Bermuda Triangle is just a triangle, and yes, there are shallow waters, and yes, there are tropical storms, so, but just because it's probably a, an attention bias. Other than that. Shishen Itza. One of the most popular tourist attractions in Mexico today, Shishen Itza was once one of the largest cities of the pre-Columbian Maya civilization. Boasting a mix of architectural styles from across the empire, it is also known to include contributions from members of the first civilization believed to have fought on the front lines against the human rebellion, in particular the technologically advanced system of caves, tunnels and puzzles that runs underground between Castillo Temple and the Sinod Sagrado are rich with the first civilization artifacts. Excavated in the 18th century in a controversial di dig ordered by Madeleine de Lizelle, these range from prophecy discs to rings and shards. Voluminous in quantity, they are minor but culturally significant artifacts which, as a collection, Provide us with the best picture we have of life on Earth in the months preceding the Toba catastrophe. The site is currently under federal protection, but we are close to reaching an agreement with the Mexican government. Easter Island. Located at the southeastern point of the Polynesian Triangle, Big Rapa is home to some 887 Moya statues created by the Rapa Nui people, one of the most isolated inhabitant, inhabited islands, a territory of Chile, protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it has proved difficult to study closely in this century. Some records are available from the 18th century, when the Rapa Nui suffered from disease communicated by European sailors. 19th and 20th century records indicate slave raids, famine, war, and deforestation. Despite this rich and perhaps tragic history, it is the Moya statues that are most hev heavily protected. Carved from the stone of an extinct volcano, it is not known how they were transported for installation. This mystery f fascinates tourists, but if we could gain access to con conduct a private archaeological excavation on the island, it is the petroglyphs and network of caves established by even earlier civilizations that we believe would yield the most productive results. They made an experiment about this a few years ago, and they figured out that you could actually hop them about. You can tilt them and push them, and that's how you move them. Lake Vostok. Working with our Russian partners, we have secured an agreement to commence research in the subterranean lake that lies deep beneath Vostok Station, in the accurately, if poetically named, Pole of Cold, on the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. Sitting approximately 3,500 meters above sea level, this freshwater lake rests 4,000 meters beneath the surface. A core ice sample was extracted in 2012, and we will soon begin research that should provide a Paleoclimactic rectal going back some 400,000 years. Isolated fossil water reserve samples may prove even older. Only time and science will tell what genetic marvels these magnific magnificent samples will reveal, not a new window into the first civilization life itself. Yeah, Lake Vostok is supposed to be the place in Antarctica to search for life. Yeah, I thought someone liked that chocolate. Okay, that's it for now. Need to get back to my station. Check you forgetting where it is. It's here. I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. 
And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. Okay. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> And how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. No, so it's complete. <clears throat> Has he gone mad? Has <clears throat> your reason absconded? Clearly. Oh, come on, British. I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. He's the grim fella. That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? Lily livid punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. <laughs> Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Vane! The governor's come crawling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Take this shanty town as if it were your own. Aye, ah, the king has been particularly ah. ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Thanks, 
Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn Governor here, serving at the King's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Chill girls were hanging from ledge. Hmm. Yeah, I did that last time through here. What? What's with the outfit? Okay, the game crashed. I guess that's fine because I wanted to end close very soon anyway. So, I guess thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay good and have fun.